Hey guys, this is the lecture number 37 of our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we implemented a form for editing uh, the existing student. In this lecture, we will implement the update method for save the updated attributes inside the database for any particular student. Okay, so let's start implementing the update action. So for that, you have to switch into the students controller and at the bottom of the edit action, we need to create def update. And just like edit and show, we need to update an existing student. So we need to find that student first. So here we will write the same query. So just copy it and paste here okay now we got the student that we have to update from database so now we need to update the params that we get from the form okay so let's use at the rate student dot update and here we will use the same method that we were we are using in the create method student dot new create student params and for updating any student we will use the same method which has the param first name last name and email so just copy that and write here student params okay now we can here use here like if address student dot update then we can redirect to our index path and if it is not updated successfully just like uh, when we uh, creating the student suppose if any validation error falls then it will not be updated successfully and it will render the edit form okay redirect to students path else render edit and just in this syntax okay. now come to your browser and open the edit form for a student now here let's go to the index file first okay refresh page click on the edit link for any student okay and uh, make some space in the terminal for a server okay so now let's write Alex here and the sing you can write Alex Jones Alex at the rate ROR bootcamp dot com now when you sub hit the update student button you will see the updated entry here Alex Jones Alex at the rate rrbootcamp.com. Now let's see at the terminal. So whenever I uh, submitted the update button, you can see the request here is started patch request because uh, I already told you that uh, whenever you try to update a record, then you will get either put or patch request. Okay, so it has started the patch request students one, and it has been processed by students controller update action. And these are the params that we are passing first name Alex last name Jones and so on so whatever it depends upon the number of attributes that you are submitting through the forms and here you can see that it has find the student first and then it has updated the student uh, an SQL update query has been performed here okay so this is how we can update a resource or update uh, existing data for an active record model okay now after updating we have redirected it on index page if you wish you can redirect it to show page as well so let's try to see how you can do that you just need to provide the path of that student student path and in the path you just need to provide a student is instance at the rate student 
now save it so when you update an student now it will direct you to the detail page of that student now let's uh, edit this student student to one just provide a real name here let's say Vicky Clark just replace it like Vicky at the rate rrbootcamp.com and hit the update button now you have did hit the update button and it is redirecting you to detail page of the student so it depends upon you that uh, how you want to display uh, how you want to redirect your existing update uh, whatever uh, existing record after update okay so this way you can update your existing record so we have done here with uh, update action in the next lecture we will implement how to delete an existing record or an existing student in the next lecture so thanks for watching this till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe